fighting American who joined the forces to take and protect the way of life that we have today. And by joining the forces and protecting the way of life today, I take, and take honor and dignity to this country, which we stand united, and we never ever will surrender to the enemy. We will put that flag and show them that the black and white flag means no surrender. To the last man stand, we will take and fight our enemies. So, you know, it's, um, I, it's just an, even an, a, a major honor to just hold this. <laughs> And it's also an honor to recognize everything and the sacrifices that you and your families um, have endured for our country. And so what an honor it is to share this moment with each and every one of you. Um, and I, it'd be awesome to understand um, from you one thing that you most learned um, during your time in service. If you had to think of something, what would that be? I was uh, bestowed the honor of becoming an Army contractor served several campaigns, Operation Enduring Freedom, Operation Iraqi Freedom, and also the last uh, was Operation New Dawn when I left Iraq. Well, I believe my, my experiences being overseas among our brothers and sisters, because we consider everybody overseas our family, but at the end of the day, um, it's, it's an honor, resilience to be there. This journey started back in 2001, and I became a U.S. resident, a very proud U.S. resident, part of this awesome experiment called the American Experience. Um, the Army took me all the way to Fort Benning, Georgia, Fort Sam Houston in Texas, Fort Stewart in Georgia, and then I got deployed into Kuwait in Iraq. You know, I think for me is uh, gratitude. I came to this country, they took me and my family in, really without asking anything in return. That's what I think, it's the brotherhood, the camaraderie, the one thing was to get in to be the best that I can be, to go in to serve this wonderful, wonderful nation that we in, to uphold the highest integrity and honor, to give my life for this country so that we can have a way of life that we once have today. One of the things that I learned is about resiliency, being brave, and face adversity. Even sometimes it's difficult to do it. So one of the things I, I, I learned was uh, they sent me to a leadership school and that has helped me here in Cano as I have a, I have a team of about six employees and, you know, guiding them through the daily process, making them sure they, they know their job and, you know, helping them out. What I learned is to work as a team and camaraderie to solve the goal. If somebody needs help, you help them and you go to help them and work as a team pretty much. You know, I think for me is leadership, of course, you know, um, you know, but being humble. Uh, you know, I think I, I never asked any of my Marines to do anything I wasn't uh, willing to do myself. And so I take that approach uh, at, uh, at my job. Uh, for me, it's about that leading by example, you know, showing them that they can do it, empowering them and giving them the tools that they, that they need to do the job. And, uh, you know, and then from there again, being humble. I learned teamwork. I learned dignity. I learned respect. Um, they teach you respect <laughs> a lot, but I learned respect, I learned honor. And I took those skills that I learned, those are all leadership traits, teamwork. I took that, I got out of the service, went to college, got my associate's degree, went out and conducted myself. And today, here I am at Cano Health. And a great feeling is when you have that flag, when you come in, they, say, they welcome you back to the United States of America. And this is the true honor of becoming who we are today. Thank you for the honor and to serve his family in Cano. And so all of those traits are so necessary. Yes. And they transcend the military into everything that we do every single day for each other, for our patients, and for our company. And so on behalf of everyone at Cano Health, I honor each and every one of you and every veteran that we have in our wonderful family. And I truly, from the bottom of my heart, thank each and every one of you for your service and for everything you do for Kano Health. So God bless you all, and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.
for all of us and the future and the past veterans. This week, we congratulate you on an amazing journey towards making this country great. Thank you.